what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today is a video on a different topic so many people have been asking me that since the time you have been making videos your body is shrinking and maybe you will disappear one day <laughs> so today's topic is weight loss and how i was 125 kgs and how i am of 80 kilos now so it is roughly 45 kilos if you translate it to pounds then it goes to 100 pounds all right so i will discuss some tips techniques and some secrets of how to lose so much weight and i'm still overweight by around 15 kg uh, kgs uh, roughly around 62 or 3 is the ideal weight which i should be in and by the blessings of my guru and the almighty maybe very soon i will achieve that target also all right and if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share this with those people who are interested to know how to lose weight all right or with those people who have hit a plateau which means that after losing a certain amount of kilos or pounds they're not able to go ahead to the next step okay or even if you know somebody who is planning to start to lose weight or <laughs> or anybody who you think should lose weight or or you can share it with yourself all right if you are also in this process okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website below okay so now what is weight loss actually this is a very misunderstood word the word weight loss because many a times people will tell me that oh i am doing this i am doing that but i am not losing weight okay so that means where is the effort going <laughs> we have to understand that when we are doing certain activities it's not necessary that we are losing weight because it can be possible that we are gaining muscle when we are doing that all right so then we are not going to lose weight when we get up in a machine that means our muscle mass is increasing so not necessarily if you are not losing your weight which is in that machine it means that you are not losing anything all right <laughs> because muscle is very heavy so it can happen that your fat is converting into muscle and then you may think, oh, I'm going to the gym from two months, three months, six months. I'm working out regularly, but it's not happening. Why? No, it's happening because you are gaining muscle. This can be one possibility. Now, this does not mean that anybody who uh, is uh, hitting that plateau, it means that anyone and everyone is gaining muscle. No, it doesn't mean that. But what I'm saying is don't interpret your success of your weight loss journey as losing weight in the machine all right there can be a million other possibilities why you are not losing that weight all right because there are so many other uh, criteria for example some people on the other hand they will say oh i am not doing anything i am losing weight <laughs> that's another extreme now it doesn't mean that you are losing fat in that you are simply losing fluids so when you go into this category then what happens you will lose around 10 kilos i mean depending on how much excess you are how much overweight you are you will lose some 10 15 kilos suppose you are 70 80 kgs and your ideal weight is somewhere around 60 70 then you may lose 5 to 10 kilos but after that you will hit the plateau which means you are static you are not able to cross below that which means you are not losing fat all right you are simply losing water <laughs> that means you were thinking that yes, yes 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 i am losing weight but that's not the case because many people tell me that although my size is shrinking but uh, i still feel that much lethargic i still feel that much weak i still feel that i have not lost anything or i have not become more healthy all right so therefore we need to understand that just by losing weight in that machine it doesn't mean that you are actually becoming healthy so the goal of weight loss is uh, not to reduce your body size or to get rid of fat that is a very wrong approach 
all right the best approach to weight loss is the goal should be that i want to become more healthier it is not that i want to lose fat or i want to lose this or i want to lose that <laughs> that is a by product that will happen automatically but for that you have to have a entire lifestyle yes because many people have asked me what is the secret of your weight loss no no there is no secret there are no secrets actually <laughs> yes there are different principles which we can apply so that we become more healthier so the goal has to be to become more healthy all right not to lose weight because overweight is simply uh, being overweight is simply a product of a very bad lifestyle which we have okay so now personally regarding my scenario i was a non vegetarian till the year 2010 all right and then finally in 2010 i decided that enough is enough we should let the animals le- live <laughs> and leave them alone <laughs> so that is why i decided in the year 2010 that i will not be pursuing this non vegetarian diet anymore and one day in my hostel in srm university chennai southern part of india i decided that that's it i'm not going to eat this again and i think the last time i tasted meat was in december 2010 if i am correct because on the day of christmas i left guwahati and i came to chennai 2010 i mean after my first semester so it will be before christmas so it's roughly being 7 8 years maybe so it feels great but then what used to happen is then also i lost a lot of weight i was near about 125 kilos by then all right because i used to eat so much meat <laughs> i used to eat so much that in guwahati uh, there's a restaurant called confucius you can google it all right and you can visit it also sometimes if you want so in that restaurant confucius i used to go with one of my friend and then what used to happen is we used to eat so much meat that the net profit of the restaurant came down because we used to go and eat the buffet and we used to literally hog on food for around 2 to 3 hours all right that's very dangerous it is extremely detrimental for our spiritual life to eat meat in that amount or even to eat meat at all all right so we need to understand that animals also deserve to live like we do okay so that is why we should not eat meat yes that was my stance that is and that will be my stance and some of you have messaged me oh why are you so strong on this uh, non vegetarian food you can be a bit like no that's not going to happen my stance was the same it is and it will be the same so if you do not like to hear then i'm sorry <laughs> okay so and then after the year 2010 i was very busy in so many activities so i never got time to uh, focus exclusively on my wealth Uh, sorry on my health because this in a health is wealth although that has many meanings health is wealth but then uh, from last year from in fact 2 3 years i have been facing some other issues my body has several other issues like i have severe migraine problem not very severe also but it's severe enough to be called as severe and then i also have issues related to my tonsil my glands so these tonsils also give me a lot of trouble at times and then there are so many other issues which i have according to ayurveda also the kapha pitta vata then that balance is not there in the body which everybody has but nobody knows that's the problem but somehow i was blessed enough to come to know about all this and then what happened from uh, last year onwards roughly near about april i decided that uh, i should take some treatment ayurvedic treatment etc and then i started uh, doing my own research on ayurveda and then different uh, systems like uh, going to the uh, yoga classes yes and then taking different uh, foods and then arranging your lifestyle in a way that permits you to be happy yes because there is one hormone in your body that is known as cortisol so now the problem is cortisol is known as the stress hormone so if you are stressed you cannot lose weight because cortisol the presence of cortisol in your body will block all the other fat burning hormones do you know that cortisol will block all the other fat burning hormones all the other fat burning hormones yes 
so if you have cortisol in your body you cannot lose weight that is why people tell me that oh i am going to the gym from one year there's no result no you will never get result <laughs> because there's too much cortisol in your body and cortisol is produced immediately when you are either angry or you are disgusted <laughs> or you are stressed or you are frustrated or things are not going your way yes the moment you lose your tolerance that moment your body secretes cortisol which is the stress hormone all right and then that's it all the fat burning is stopped because then your body goes into a defensive mode your body goes into a uh, hibernation mode your body goes to sleep sleep from fat burning <laughs> and because of that all your fat burning is stopped and then you go on hitting the gym you go on hitting the treadmill you go on hitting on your muscles nothing works all right so the first step is to lower your cortisol because if you do not lower your cortisol it's of no use which means that even if you are losing weight but you will still uh, gain it very soon have you seen those people dancing from here to there to damn fat to damn slim to damn fat to damn slim it's not sustainable because if you are not happy in your life all right overall then you will have too much cortisol in your body and that will inhibit you from burning fat which simply means that we have to <coughs> make sure that we arrange our life in such a way that we can have the least amount of stress and for that spiritual practices are very 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 essential otherwise this world will not let us be happy all the time yes because there will be so many situations somebody will come and knock our door and they will bang us for no reason sometimes yes or we are going uh, somewhere and the bus is late sometimes that day i went uh, to a place and the bus came before i reached before time <laughs> and it left and i was like oh my god <laughs> the bus came before time and it didn't stop also and probably the driver had also seen that i was coming but he was least concerned about me and then the bus left so i was thinking that look this world will not let us be in peace at all times yes so it is very 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 probable that our cortisol levels are high most of the times all right we are frustrated at our studies we are frustrated at uh, our partner sometimes boyfriend girlfriend and then we are frustrated uh, in our workplace also so because of that we are not able to deal with this high level of cortisol yes and then what happens this cortisol will block all the fat burning yes so the number one thing is we have to treat this high level of cortisol and that is only possible when we have a overall lifestyle which is made in such a way that we can handle high level of stress and how to do that it is a difficult job but we have to take the help of god otherwise we can't do it because when you are spiritually elevated yes you will have more tolerance to things <coughs> because what happens <coughs> lord krishna says in the gita that suhridam sarvabhutanam gyatva mam shantim ruchati that i am the most well wishing friend of all the living entities lord krishna says this in the gita if somebody knows the name of the chapter they can write it in the comments let me see so this means that when we understand that there is one person who is our ever well wisher and then whatever that person is doing is for our good yes then we will become peaceful because that is the peace formula yes that when we understand that god is the ultimate controller enjoyer and he is the ultimate being because why do we get frustrated in life have you ever asked the question why do we get frustrated because we think that everything is meant for us should i repeat because everything is meant for us yes that is why when things don't go along our way then we feel that we are not able to control things yes suppose a, we like a person and that person is behaving in ways which we don't like then we get frustrated why because we want that person to behave the way we like them to yes but that doesn't happen all the time so when we become spiritually elevated then what happens we realize that 
things are not going to go my way because i am not god <laughs> that means when you realize that there is a supreme controller supreme authority yes and we also realize that whatever he is doing is for our good then even if you miss the bus or even if you get divorced or even if you die in the worst case you will still have a smile in your face <laughs> otherwise anything you do even if you get it done easily you will be frustrated you will be angry i know people who have everything they have the biggest cars they have the best marriages but still they are dissatisfied inside all right they are so miserable that they have everything except mental peace have you seen people taking smiley uh, that selfies and then they will upload in instagram yes and they will upload beautiful uh, wallpapers and their uh, display pics in whatsapp yes so many nice beautiful ladies out there but when i see their horoscopes or when they talk to me i realize to them they are the most miserable tormented creatures in this planet earth yes because they are frustrated <laughs> एज इन हिंदी ने से ना कि चिता आदमी को एक बार जलाती है लेकिन चिंता बार बार जलाती है दैट मीन्स वेन यू आर एन वेन यू डाई यू विल हैव योर फ्यूनरल एंड यू विल बी बॉर्न ओनली वंस बट इफ यू आर टेंस्ड यू आर बॉर्निंग एवरी मोमेंट येस सो दैट इज वेरी डेंजरस सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू लोअर योर कॉटिसोल एंड देन दैट इज टू बी अचीव बाय डूइंग स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस लाइक मेडिटेशन इन द मॉर्निंग एंड देन apart from that arranging your lifestyle by meeting good people all right this is very important because one of the major factors which contribute to cortisol is other people <laughs> yes 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 people around us people here people there yes so then what happens is people get into our nerves very easily have you seen those people something somebody says and they're like oh how did you say that No, it doesn't work like that if you are at that level then you cannot lose weight yes now you may still shed off some pounds but that will be very artificial you will again get that weight back in no time right write it and i will sign it you will again get that weight back because your body has not adapted to dealing with cortisol all right so now for this what we need to do is for the second part regarding people we need to make sure that we distance ourselves from those people who give us stress yes and what are the different areas that give us stress number one is gossip yes talking unnecessarily about other people i am not talking of women here people say that women will gossip no that's wrong to say like that i know so many men also who keep gossiping all the time oh who is having an affair with whom who got the promotion how they got oh my god so many controversies so many scandals so many talks and gossips peeping out in the crowd right <laughs> basically who does gossip gossip is done by people who are completely jobless yes who have nothing to do who do not have a purpose goal aim direction in life only they are gossiping because they have so much time to gossip right because you need a lot of time to gossip so that means <clears throat> if you think that uh, by gossiping you will become happy because see what happens when a person is gossiping to you about somebody else then the next moment that person is going to gossip about you to somebody else yes then what happens somebody will come and tell you oh this person said you said like this and then you will be like my god when did i say this so then you see your stress level increases so we have to distance ourselves from these people who keep gossiping all the time yes and then we also have to meet those people sadhus spiritually enlightened beings go and listen from them go and hear from them read the scriptures by which we get into good association that is what is said in the scriptures sata sanga sata means what is the meaning of what sata sata means satto guna mode of goodness those people who are in the mode of goodness and then sanga is association that means to go and meet them it may it may be physically or it may be by uh, verbally talking with them also via phone if suppose i am here in germany and suppose my guru he is in kanpur now yes my guru one of my gurus my most prominent gurus he is in kanpur now so 
I may not be able to go and meet him personally, but uh, I'm going to India very soon in February. So that time, finally, I am going to meet him now after my God, two and a half years. I, I can't wait to go and meet him again. My God, it's been so long. So finally, I'll see him again after 2015 September. Yes. So I'm extremely excited. But what of now? As of now, I can still pick up the phone and talk to him. Yes. So when I talk with him, all my stress is finished. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do much just those two words no, he will ask three words how are you that's it the moment i will hear this everything is finished because i know that he is my greatest well-wisher yes he is more of a well-wisher to me than even my mother and my father why why do i say this because my mother and my father are also my greatest well-wishers but they are well wishers for my body yes <laughs> they are they do not know about soul so my guru is much more of a well wisher or maybe equally or even much more <laughs> than my parents because he is the one who is taking care of my soul because that's what i am ultimately right as lord krishna says in the gita jiva uh, he says that um, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Naso Chati Na Kang Shati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhvaktim Labhate Para Ishwara Sarva Bhuta Naam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati Ramayam Sarva Bhuta Naam Yantra Ludhani Maya Yeah, I am seated in the heart of every living being as the super soul Paramatma and it is said when the student is ready the master shall appear should I repeat when the student is ready the master shall appear <laughs> that means when you pray to god that oh god that's it enough of this i want enlightenment now then god lord vishnu will send you the teacher because in the Srimad bhagavatam there is this uh, story of dhruva maharaj where dhruva was determined i will find where god is he didn't know who god was how he looked like and then lord vishnu said to narad muni my dear narad, narad muni please go and enlighten him and Tell him how to come to me. Yes. So, when you are sincere in approaching God and in going to him, then that is God's responsibility to send you the Guru. All right. So, then what happens? God will send you the Guru. Like, for example, for me, he sent so many Gurus. Yes. So, talking with enlightened beings, just talking for moments, you may not talk with them for hours because they may be very busy. Yes. So, when we just simply talk with them, then also our cortisol will be lower yes and also we need to avoid places like unnecessary things especially in the night because i know when i go to my home there are people who are seeing this useless unnecessary debate shows in news channels yes nine o'clock in the night see night time is for sleeping it is not for doing all this nonsense yes watching news channels and going on grazing unnecessarily in into useless rubbish which can never help us so then when we are seeing all this yes and so many reality shows and so many things in youtube especially yes i will not take names because somebody may say oh why you are being judgmental against that or this no no no, no. i am very careful not to take sides but whatever we do in our life we should aim that we reduce our cortisol yes by that we will understand that weight loss is not that very difficult yes that is why i know so many people some people say that oh going to the gym is difficult doing yoga is difficult uh, doing this doing that no but that's true at the same time i know so many people who are doing these things sincerely they come and tell me and they have shown me the results also but still they are not losing weight why because they are not lowering their cortisol and in the presence of cortisol the emergency of your body is still retained and when your body is in an emergency state that there is some serious problem outside you will not get food so what your body does it it blocks all the fat burning yes because the body thinks that there is a calamity outside so now i need to preserve all the fats yes then what happens your body thinks i will never get food and then your body goes into fat burning and your metabolism is stopped completely it shrinks the metabolism slows down very much when you have cortisol so in the presence of cortisol it is next to impossible that you lose weight all right 
so the biggest factor for losing weight is to lower our cortisol and to stay away from those people who talk of unnecessary things yes those things which can never help me in my life yes for example that day somebody told me that why don't you do a video on this uh, cricketer uh, i don't know what's his name but he recently got married to a um, actress yes so i said uh, yeah yeah maybe i will make a video but maybe the next time when he gets married <laughs> yeah so when i said this then this person got angry so he said that uh, oh why do you say like this so because it's very usual for cricketers and actors and actresses to get married again yes so why should we take the marriage of these people so much seriously i don't understand how in the universe is the marriage of a cricketer with a cinema star with a bollywood actress going to affect my life yes why are we so much concerned about them because we have nothing to do in our life yes that's the reason so we have to realize that if we stay with these people who make unnecessary hypes about things that don't actually matter then our cortisol will be still high so i hope everybody is getting a gist of what i'm wanting to say here yes so that is it from my side i will speak on the next hormone the other day insulin yes 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 insulin is the other hormone that we have to reduce otherwise if you are not reducing insulin then also you cannot lose weight yes that is another fat blocking hormone it blocks all the fat burning yes so then you will also not lose weight yes and if you want to know if you have high insulin just see if you have belly fat <laughs> <laughs> sounds familiar sounds similar <laughs> if you have fat in your gut in your belly you have high insulin there is insulin resistance in your body all right so that is it from my side this is a new series which i have started so bear with me videos are going to be very long because there is no use of making videos like 2 minute videos na 10 tips to lose weight it doesn't work like that it has never worked it doesn't work and it is not going to work all right so let's not full people by making videos for 2 minutes okay 20 tips to lose weight <laughs> you're simply making a big bunch of jokes and lies if you're doing like that yes so let us understand things at a very deeper level so today's video was on cortisol so the first thing is we have to lower our stress and that is only possible through spiritual practices by doing meditation by studying the scriptures by understanding that we are not the controllers we are not the enjoyers and we are not the proprietors that shloka from the gita which is known as the peace formula and then you realize okay everything need not go my way even if the bus is before time like it was in my case i was like anyways god is anyways going to do what he wants right <laughs> he's not going to ask me do you want this should i do this no 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 he will anyways do what he wants because is god ultimately yes he is abhigya swara tene brahma hridaya adi kavaye muhyanti ad surya he he is free to do whatever he wants yes we cannot force him to do what we want him to do yes as in hindi they say na he he is not your father's servant <laughs> i will not translate it if somebody knows translation they can type it below all right and then we should meet enlightened personalities by who by meeting whom we feel nourished spiritually and by that our tolerance to unnecessary things of this world which give us stress will increase yes and then our cortisol will be lower and then finally we need to stay away from people who increases our cortisol by giving us stress by doing gossip by discussing about unnecessary things like which cricketer got married to which bollywood actress yes and then or some other topic like who won the match <laughs> how is somebody is winning a match or losing a match going to affect my life yes it's complete zero so that is it from my side lower your cortisol be happy stay with good people meet sadhus read the scriptures do meditation and maintain a good lifestyle so the next topic will be on insulin and non vegetarian food my god <laughs> the gun is out everybody will be shooted in this <laughs> okay so nice to see you with this new topic so if you're new to the channel and you have still not subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there if, if you want a consultation then approach me through my website and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments okay bye bye wish you good luck with your 
cortisol. See you.